Now, in the interest of full disclosure, let me go ahead and say this. When El Generico was on the independent scene and working in ROH, I was not a fan at all. I thought he was one of the most boring, lame-ass wrestlers and gimmicks that was around, period. Those of you that have watched me for years know that I was never big on El Generico. You remember back a few years ago when I interviewed Colt Cabana, he was talking about how great El Generico was. You could see the look on my face. I was like, oh, Christ almighty. Nonetheless, when he got signed by WWE to their developmental territory, NXT, I'm like, oh, God, I don't get it. I don't see it. whoop de fucking do indeed was my attitude towards the whole thing. But as time went along and I saw El Generico become Sami Zayn and I continued to watch him at NXT and observe what he was doing, I saw a performer that grew by leaps and bounds, a performer that became more than just flips and kicks, a guy that actually, to me anyways, became a worker, a guy who actually became a more well-rounded performer. And the type of well-rounded performer that you need to be in order to hope to have any type of real success at the WWE level, uh, short-term but especially long-term. Now, is he great on the mic? No. Is he passable enough to get his message across? Yes. And, that, and that's the most important thing. You don't always have to be The Rock or Ric Flair or Hulk Hogan or Mankind or Rowdy Roddy Piper on the microphone in order to get your point across. It's ultimately, can you get the point across? Does it resonate? But when you take some of the other things that Sami Zayn did do to improve, I thought he went from being a guy that could just high spot his way to a really interesting match to a guy that could wisely incorporate certain spots as part of a bigger picture of telling a story in a match to really make a match deliver. I think, frankly, some of his best work came at the NXT level. So I wasn't that surprised when Sami Zayn made his debut this past Monday on Raw that people were really excited. You know, it wasn't a matter of if he was going to be debuting. It was when and how soon and how that debut was going to go. And there he is answering the U.S. title open challenge of John Cena. It's Sami Zayn and it's John Cena. And, you know, predictably and understandably, many hardcore fans were very excited about this. The thought of Sami Zayn on Raw, they've been chomping at the bit for this for a while, potentially years, if they go back to his El Generico days at ROH and the Independent scene, what have you. Now, personally, I've seen Sami Zayn do a lot better, but it was a good debut for him, I thought. Unfortunately, it sounds like he might be injured and he might be gone a period of time, what have you. But you know what? It was a good debut. It's, it's a good way to bring somebody like a Sami Zayn in. You know, you could sit there and talk about this, you could talk about that, but it was effective. You know, he got a great reaction, obviously, which isn't that surprising. And, you know, now you'll see what happens in the next chapters of the story. But, you know, when it comes to doing these videos, sometimes I feel like I'm a crusader against stupidity. And sometimes that's the stupidity of myself. Uh, oftentimes that may be the stupidity of other individuals, wrestling fans especially, but more often than not, when it comes to quality of stupidity and sheer volume of stupidity, it feels like more than anything else I'm rallying against the stupidity of people currently and formerly involved in the professional wrestling business. Now look, Sami Zayn is not a main eventer right now. I don't know if he ever will be, but that's not to say that he won't be. He most certainly isn't a big star right now, but that doesn't mean that he can't be but that also doesn't make it very likely that he will be. So I figured somebody at some point in time was going to try and crap and rain on everybody's parade, and oftentimes I'm used to it being me. But in this particular case, apparently it was Vince Russo, who sat there and went to great lengths, it seems like, to kind of crap all over the fun of the Sami Zayn fans and Sami Zayn himself, among other things, and I'm kind of paraphrasing, but I'm hoping I'm not taking anything out of context here, talking about the fact that he only got a great reaction because he appeals to the hardcore fans. He's not a star. Here's this bland guy who's just wearing bland trunks. There was no vignette. You know, just a bunch of different things. And Russo basically trying to point out that Sami Zayn is not a star. And that he's just a wrestler that appeals to a certain segment of the fan base. And he's no money draw. And he doesn't know if he ever will be. Okay. You know what? 
And in a lot of ways, you could sit there and say Vince Russo was absolutely right. Now, I'm usually not one that just wants to go on the hate and shit on Russo bandwagon just because it's a fun thing to do, just because as wrestling fans it's something that uh, certain entities, certain philosophies have tried to program us to for certain years. But this is one of these instances where I just got to say, okay, Sami Zayn's not a big star yet. He may never be. Who cares? Shut the fuck up, Russo. Seriously. Let's, let's take this one piece at a time first. When we're talking about the fact that he didn't debut with vignettes, he didn't sit there and uh, have some big pomp and circumstance. He just appears and he's in plain trunks and everything else. Isn't that the same way Cena debuted 13 years ago on SmackDown against Kurt Angle? No vignettes. He was called out at an open challenge. Looked kind of dorky. Had awkward pinkish purplish colored trunks. I mean, he just looked like a square peg in a round hole. Now Cena's the guy that's been forced down people's throats as the top guy. He's been the prop for the WWE at the top for a decade. Number two, we're talking about the whole thing of he's not a star yet. Well, no shit. The guy just fucking debuted. I don't think anybody of any sound mind or body is going to sit there and argue right now that Sami Zayn is a huge megastar or that Sami Zayn should instantly be vaulted to the top. At least I will most certainly hope not. But if we're going to go off of this logic and this philosophy to try and crap on somebody giving him a decent reaction for his debut, well then if we look back at history, nobody would ever be a fucking star. Look at when Austin debuted in the WWF. He wasn't Stone Cold Steve Austin. He was the ringmaster. The Rock was the cheesiest thing maybe ever in Rocky Maivia. Triple H was Hunter Hearst Helmsley. And we always heard the name repeatedly. It took him four years to figure out maybe we should just shorten his name full-time to Triple H. These guys weren't big stars the instant they came in. How often does somebody actually come in and instantly become a big star? I mean, you can sit there and say, well, he's not a big star yet. Okay, yeah, well, fucking who the hell would be after one match, after one show? Furthermore, to really talk about the stupidity of what Russo said here, who is a big fucking star in the WWE? The simple answer is nobody. And if you think that there is a megastar in today's WWE in terms of the full-time performers or even certain select part-time performers like Brock, Brock Lesnar, you're fucking mistaken. Now, I'm sure Vince Russo will sit there and tell you that Cena is a big money-making megastar. But the reason Vince Russo will tell you that is because he's a fucking moron. I'm sure he'll tell you Randy Orton is a big money-making star. And the reason he would tell you that is because, again, he is a fucking moron. And while Brock Lesnar might get this company more mainstream publicity at times when he wrestles at certain events, the very select few that he does, at the end of the day, when it comes to shit-to-get time, in terms of making the almighty dollar... Brock Lesnar is not a big-time megastar. And the only reason Vince Russo or anybody else would tell you that is because they are fucking morons. When you look at the wrestling business, in particular the WWE today, there are no megastars. There are no superstars. This is something I have asserted before, and I will most certainly talk about, rant about, and assert again. There is no megastar. There is no superstar. That's why the business in the grand scheme of things, outside of the hardest of hardcore of the wrestling fan community, doesn't fucking matter. John Cena is no freaking megastar. He is a prop for the WWE. If you honestly believe that it's a guy like John Cena that is drawing how many thousands of fans to a live event, or to a Raw, or to a SmackDown taping, or to a pay-per-view, or to a WrestleMania, you are missing the point. You are way out of bounds. The WWE name is what draws, not any individual performer. The last real instance you have, frankly, of a guy being an individual money-making draw is The Undertaker at WrestleMania. And even then, still, part of that whole draw, besides just Undertaker wrestling not one match a year at WrestleMania, is the fact that it was not only WWE, but it was WrestleMania, an event. It's the company, it's the brand, it's the shield, if you will, to borrow from the NFL, that draws the money in this case. It's not the individual performers. The whole thing of Cena makes money, that's because John Cena is the avenue 
for the WWE, the prop for the WWE. Cena on his own is not a megastar. Cena on his own is not a big money-making draw. What other choice do you have but to see John Cena make the most money for the company when he's put in this spot far more than anybody else? He is taken care of far more than anybody else. And when it comes to things, especially like merchandise sales, when you cook the books and you skew things to ensure that John Cena's merch is the most widely offered, has the most variety, is the most widely pushed, marketed, and forced, what other result do you have other than John Cena being the guy that makes the most fucking merch money? I mean, seriously, I wouldn't think it would take a rocket scientist to see this. And I would talk about Randy Orton. I think back to a few nights ago when Shaq took that great tumble on the NBA and TNT set. Then later on, they're making fun of him. And one of the things they show, the internet memes, if you will, is Randy Orton delivering an RKO out of nowhere to Shaq. And Charles Barkley, somebody who I know has watched professional wrestling and I still believe does to this day, sits there and says, is that Triple H? Now this is another one of the Breakfast Club members in Randy Orton. A guy who got some notoriety out of the popularity of the Vines RKO out of nowhere. And here's Charles Barkley saying, is that Triple H? So your top guys currently in your company, people outside of the hardest of hardcore fans, have no fucking clue who the hell they are. I guarantee you if it was Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man or Stone Cold or Andre the Giant or The Rock, there would be no confusion about who the hell they are. So to sit there and talk about Sami Zayn not being a star is fucking stupid and ridiculous because in today's professional wrestling business, in most particular the WWE, there are no mega stars or superstars. And if you believe a Daniel Bryan or a John Cena or a Randy Orton or a Seth Rollins or a Roman Reigns or a Brock Lesnar is one child, please lay off the peace pipe. And my other question here is, at this point in time, in the year 2015, who the fuck is Vince Russo to talk about anybody's star power or lack of star power? Frankly, he's no more or lesser qualified than me. When it comes to the professional wrestling business, Jeff Schlegel, the Schleg Daddy, has made exactly the same number of super megastars over the past 16 years as Vince Russo. And ladies and gentlemen, that total is <clears throat> zero. What the fuck would Vince Russo know about what it takes to cross over to the mainstream of professional wrestling today. Anything that he ever did when it came to that was back in the late fucking 90s when I was still at damn high school. Do you realize how much the world has changed? How much media has changed? The internet has changed. Entertainments and forms of entertainment have changed. So to sit there and insist that you think some of the shitty, hot-shotting, crazy crash TV you did in the late 90s would work today in 2015 is fucking totally ludicrous and an abomination. A total abomination. And to sit there and pretend, in the case of Vince Russo, that he has any fucking idea how to make stars, I say, where's your proof? Look at what you did the past 15 years. Oh, because all that shit you did at WCW made such big mega stars. Oh, that's a good one. And look at all the shit all those years in TNA. Maybe TNA wouldn't be on Destination America now, where most of us have to pay. Who goes? How god fucking 30, 40 bucks plus a month more to add a premium package in order to watch it. Maybe we wouldn't have to do that if Vince Russo in all his time running the creative of TNA could have actually made a fucking superstar. Who was the last time Vince Russo actually made a superstar? So the whole notion that Sami Zayn isn't a superstar, well, no shit. How the hell could he be, first of all, after one night and one match? Number two, he probably never will be a star. That's true. But again, who in WWE today actually is a megastar or a superstar? The answer in terms of the regulars, the full-timers, the non-Triple H part-timers, the answer is nobody. Nobody. And number three, who the hell is Vince Russo to sit there and talk about anybody's star power? He has just as much credibility as I do on the topic over the past 15, 16 fucking years. Like I said, I'm, I'm all for being contrarian sometimes, and I'm all for taking the unpopular viewpoint, because sometimes the right thing isn't the popular thing, and shit needs to be said. But in this particular case, I don't see what the fuck Vince Russo was grabbing for, because it doesn't make any damn sense, and nothing he said about Sami Zayn makes any fucking sense. But of course, anything Vince Russo says, frankly, anymore probably shouldn't make any sense. I know it'll make Sami Zayn a superstar. 
a reverse battle royal, an electrified cage match, a vibe on a pull match, or Vince Russo, shut the fuck up.